it is to make holiday recipes. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a super delicious Cornish hen. Not everybody makes turkey for the holidays, right? Especially if you're making something for a small family, but you still want to make some type of meal. Cornish hen is the way to go. I'm going to show you how to make it quick and simple, super delicious, crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some Cornish hens. A lot of times in your local market, you can find them two in a pack, which is great, right? You're going to need um, a nice sweet Vidalia onion. And if you want to use some bell peppers, absolutely you can. We're going to use some lemon. You're going to need some vegetable oil or olive oil, two tablespoons of butter. We're going to need some spices to make this thing taste good, okay? So we have salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, paprika, we have turmeric, we have some Creole seasoning, and a little bit of parsley flakes to make it nice and beautiful. Make sure, make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this Cornish hen recipe. Jeannie, I'm going to do, make sure you wash off your meat. I washed off my meat using lemon juice, salt and cold water, and then give it a nice pat dry. If you got any extra like fat onto your bird, go ahead and cut it off, okay? So I have some sweet onion here, and we're just gonna, you slice it, dice it, whatever you wanna do. Now you can put this inside of your bird. You can also put it underneath the bird, and that's what I'm gonna do today. Not only will it keep it nice and juicy, but it brings an amazing flavor to your recipe. And slice some onions. All right, and if you want to put bell peppers or fresh garlic in the bottom of the pan, celery, carrots, absolutely you can. These veggies will turn nice and roasted and sweet and they taste good. So in the pan that I'm using, it's just a 9 by 12 baking pan. Um, I have about a half a cup of water. It'll just kind of get things going. And then what we're going to do is put your veggies in the bottom of the pan just like this we can break them apart a little bit and then we're going to bring in our birds and we're going to season them real good don't be afraid to season if you're afraid to season your food will be flavorless let's give it some tablespoons flavor. of butter just get it in there it's going to bring great flavor to your bird you can decide to cook your cornish hand whole this way if you want it to okay I think that what I'm going to do is what they call spatchcock. And what, what that is, is where you cut off, here, let me turn it this way. You're going to cut the backbone out, and you can save the backbone, boil it, and make some nice broth if you want to, so don't throw it away. After you cut it, throw it in the freezer, you can use it for a later day. I'm going to go right down the backbone with my scissors, okay? Make sure to not to cut through this way, okay? And we're going to take that backbone right out. You can also use a knife. It'll come off super simple, whether you're using a bigger bird or this little one here. The kitchen shear should work you for you. get that backbone out, you're going to be able to just press this and break like that breastbone, and it'll lay nice and flat in your pan just like so. Look, Look how so. pretty. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we must oil our bird to keep it nice and juicy, okay? So I'm going to oil this underneath side. I'm going to get all in the nooks and crannies. We're going to flip this thing over and oil it again. But not only is it going to keep it nice and moist and juicy, it's going to help for the spices to adhere to this bird. Side number one. All right, I'm going in with a little bit of onion powder that I have. Parsley flakes always makes everything nice and pretty. This Cajun seasoning, are you kidding me? This Cajun seasoning is beautiful. It's going to give like a little nice spice to it, okay? Mine, we're going to be seasoning the other side. Turmeric is so healthy and it makes a gorgeous color to your bird. Paprika, it's not smoked paprika, although you can use it. All right, you're going to use some salt. Keep in mind how much you want to use. You never want to use too much salt, right? Just like so. Beautiful. We're going to use some black pepper and some garlic powder. Do the same with the Put other them over. side. We're going to oil and season the other side just oil like this. So. Once again, just like this. This is the perfect amount of meat that you would need for your holiday. If you're not having a big meal, and like I said earlier, but you still want to feed like maybe one or two of you. You know, this is going to be great. You can come back for seconds. And it puts you in a mind frame of turkey, right? Sometimes it tastes better than turkey. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the salt once again. Black pepper and garlic powder just that like right so. there is what I call well seasoned. Cornish hens, we're going to put it on top of the veggies with the two tablespoons of butter, about a half a cup of water. It can even be broth if you want it to. Just nestle it right on top of those veggies. You might want to put carrots and celery underneath to bring in even more 
flavor and you're gonna turn your oven on 350 degrees just like nice so. some lemon so we can put lemon on top of our chicken you can even put a couple of pieces of this beautiful lemon down in the bottom of the pan to bring in even more flavor just a like a little so. bit more lemon in the bottom of your pan it'll bring great flavor we have our oven preheated to 350 degrees let me ask you something. How easy was that? So much more simpler, it's simpler work, so much more easier than preparing a huge turkey and you're only feeding a small amount of people. Let's get this into the oven. You know you're gonna cook it to 165 degrees Fahrenheit internal Make up temperature. some quick dressing, because we can, right? This is some cornbread dressing and I have a little bit of chicken bouillon powder. We have about a half a stick of butter and some water. We're gonna give it a nice stir. Just like this, put a lid on, turn it off, and fluff it up five minutes later. Now we're 15 minutes in the oven on 350 degrees until internal temperature reaches 165. Look at this. Look at this, and look at that lovely juice and those roasted veggies in the inside. Make you some Gina Young style. You're going to love this recipe. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends. Tell everyone you know what Gina's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, we thank you for providing a meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you so.